hello now if you have calculated now if you have learned how to calculate credit sales or and total sales in a single entry scenario the next part is to calculating credit purchase or total purchase so that we can uh, move to make an income statement move towards making an income statement now as you may be aware there are two types of sales similarly there can be two types of purchase one is credit purchase and one is cash purchase if we add credit and cash purchase we'll be getting the figure for total purchase now uh, when we calculated credit sales we uh, needed an account known as sales ledger control account which is basically a debtors account now similarly now we need to prepare a creditors account known as purchase ledger control account Purchase ledger control account, my dear students, is basically a supplier's account and, and it is an account for all of the creditors for the business. Now, as you may be aware that creditor is a liability for the business and the nature for liability is credit. So the opening balance would come on the credit side. If opening balance is coming on the credit side, the closing balance should come on the debit side. Now, whenever we are buying goods on credit, our liability will go up. The entry would be purchase account would be debited and trade payables or liability account would be credited. Now, this is not a purchase account this is basically a purchase ledger control account this is basically a liability or trade payable or creditors account okay so whenever we are paying our suppliers for the goods uh, that we have purchased on credit the liability would be decreased the entry would be cash or bank would be credited and liability account would be debited and whenever we are paying our suppliers earlier than promise our supplier will give us some sort of discount and this will be a cash discount known as discount receive and the discount receive will basically reduces our liability then uh, whenever we are returning goods to a supplier that are faulty this is return outward also known as purchase return and the purchase return or return outward basically reduces the liability the liability would be debited and return outward would be credited now uh, let us uh, calculate a uh, a purchase figure using a PLCA purchase ledger control account and now I have some dummy values for you uh, let's suppose the trade payable balance at the start of the year is 1500 and at the end of the year is 3500 and we need to find this purchase figure and we have the balance for uh, maybe we have paid our suppliers uh, how much amount that is we have paid our suppliers uh, 7,000 7, we have paid our suppliers 7,000 so this will reduce our liability then we have discount receive we have discount of 250 dollars discount receive reduces the liability then we have return outward whenever we are returning goods to a supplier liability goes down so if we uh, uh, balance this account balance this account will be able to uh, find this figure for purchase yes uh, let us add this the greater side the greater side or uh, is debit side and the greater side comes on both of the sides and if we deduct 1500 opening balance from this we'll be getting the purchase figure now the question here arises my dear students whether this purchase is a total purchase or whether it is a credit purchase only so the answer is it is a credit purchase only and why is that so sir whenever we make a liability account liability only arises whenever we are buying goods on credit okay whenever we are buying goods on cash or through check the liability never goes up okay so the entry for cash or check purchases would be purchased would be debited and cash and bank would be credited as you can see and this in this transaction there is uh, no use for a liability account okay so this is basically a credit purchase or uh, and the question here arises sir if the purchase ledger control account is not being required in an examination question is there any other way to find a credit purchase instead of making a plca yes we have an alternate way to find a uh, credit purchase and that alternate way is first of all we need to write bank now what is this bank figure my dear students this bank figure is basically payment to suppliers and uh, whenever there is given payment to supplier this is basically a bank figure now as you may be aware that whenever there is an accrued at the end of the year that accrued or owing or outstanding or unpaid this is all the same accrued uh, at the end of the year is always added okay no matter whether it is accrued expense or whether it is accrued income whether it is accrued for receivable and accrual for payable whenever there is accrual at the end of the year the accrued will be added and if the closing accrued is added then the opening accrued will be deducted okay uh, now there are some other items such as discount receiver return outward these are uh, all items will also be added now what is the rationale behind why are we adding this discount receive my dear student discount is only 
only receive whenever we are buying goods on credit and whenever we are paying our suppliers earlier or swiftly than promised then this is discount received so discount received only arises whenever there is a credit purchase so the discount should also become part of the credit purchase figure then the return outward is also there whenever we are returning goods to our credit suppliers okay so return outward also becomes part of the credit purchase now first of all we have a bank figure okay this is payment from supplier this is always would be given in the examination question uh, and the closing accrued will be closing trade payable figure will be adding this closing figure and if we are adding the closing figure we'll be deducting this opening figure then we have a discount receive and this is 250 dollars discount receive then we have return outward also known as purchase return and as you can see the figure is the same 9800 so whatever we are what are we doing in the plca this is the same in this formula uh, only difference is that is it is in an equation form and it is in a t account form now we are adding up all of these sites and only thing that is in the opposite side that it's balance bd now we are directing this balance bd we are adding all of these and we are directing this balance bd uh, as you can see balance bd this is the same for both of the methods now uh, when we are done finding the credit purchase we need to worry about cash purchase now my dear students uh, cash purchase refer to a, a purchase for which the payment has been made now the question here arises uh, no matter whether payment has been made through cash or the payment have been made through check so this is the known as cash purchase cash purchase refers to a purchase for which the payment has been made no matter what is the mode of payment or the medium of the payment if we have paid immediately no matter through a debit card through, through a wire transfer through cash or through check this also this all, all of these becomes the part of cash purchase okay so whether it is a cash purchase or check purchase this will become part of the cash purchase then we have drawing of goods my dear students whenever we draw out goods from the business for our own use let's suppose we have a gadget shop and we take out an iPhone uh, 12 Pro Max for our own use personal use uh, so the entry would be drawing would be debited and the purchase account would be credited now why we are creating the purchase uh, the reason for that is my dear student whenever we bought iPhones for resale we will be debiting the purchase account in the first place therefore when we, we where we are uh, taking out goods from the business for our own personal use will be crediting purchase okay so whenever the drawing of goods is given in the question this also need to be deducted from total purchase in order to calculate net purchase so let's suppose we have drawn out a uh, goods worth two thousand and the important uh, thing to remember is that the the drawing would be on the cost price not the selling price okay we cannot charge profit from ourselves okay we can uh, charge uh, profit from outsiders but we cannot charge profit from our own self okay so whenever we uh, there is a drawing on uh, we need to make sure the drawing is on cost price and not the selling price okay so the net purchase or the total purchase figure that we do have is 9000 now i hope you were able to uh, understand the underlying concepts behind single entry now we have uh, calculated credit sales and total sales and we have also calculated total purchase now it's time for us to make a prepare an income statement which we will be doing in the next part